Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, I'm Carrie, and in today's video, well today we're getting ready for summer tubbing, so stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping, let the show start in 3, 2, 1. Enjoy! So the weather here in Missouri is getting progressively warmer and warmer each day and that is bringing me closer to summer tubbing season and I am so excited to get started. I did want to take you outside and show you a little bit of prep work that I have done to prepare Last year I did breed guppies and mollies outside and they did fantastic, but this year, this year I did want to try something outside that I've never cared for before and kind of expand my fish keeping skills. So I am again going to take you outside, show you the prep work I've done, and make sure you are subscribed to Science Gal Aquatics so you stay updated when it is time to move these two new species outside. But today we are going to unbox them. I'm going to show you what I did pick up and get them quarantined inside just to make sure they are all doing okay before it is time to go ahead and move them since it is getting so much closer to that time. So let's go outside. I'll show you that prep work because I don't want to waste any more time. So let's go. Not only is it summer tubbing season, but it's pond season too. And I need to catch you up on a little bit of the prep work I've also done on the pond. So I will show you each individual tub that I do have set up. This one right here, this first one is by far the largest that I have. And the plan is to keep the white cloud minnows in this 300 gallon tub. We did just add pool filter sand to each of these so they're each pretty cloudy. And then this plant right here is from the mutt guppy tank downstairs, but it's two bulbs of the long leaf hydrophilia plant. And then there is also a large air stone in this back corner. And this canister filter is from the 75 gallon. The whole intention was it, it was supposed to be temporary, but it's actually doing a pretty good job. So honestly, I'll probably just keep that on here for the season, but we will see. I have high hopes. This one right here is going to be for the guppies. I do want to bring some of the guppies out here also and they do like higher flow. So I plan on keeping this filter plugged in. It's the exact same one that I used last year. And then again, we did just add some pull filter sand and some valicinaria to this tub. And there's a little bit of gravel left over from last year, but I have plans to add some guppies to this one. And then these four over here, this one's going to be for parents, babies, parents, and babies. This particular species doesn't like high flow, so I will turn off this filter right here and just keep some 
air stones in here but i might even have to turn them down but there's also some pull filter sand gravel and some little pieces of vallison area that i hope take off being outside it's the first time trying plants in these tubs but there is also a lovely trash can lid that i use for shade that works out pretty good but these are the other tubs these have been set up for about a week whereas this guppy tub and this larger one has been set up for a, a, over a month maybe even a couple months now so let me take you back to the fish room show you that unboxing and show you the other species that's going out here I did choose to go with white clouds and rice fish this year in the summer tubs. I would really enjoy keeping them outside to breed year round. And after doing some reading, I did discover that they actually do enjoy slightly colder temperatures. And speaking of breeding, this is the first time I've kept anything but live bears outside to breed in the summer tubs. And I've heard they're relatively easy to breed. So let me know down below if you have any advice or helpful tips on white cloud minnows and rice fish.
I liked them so much once they all got settled in that I went back to the website and immediately ordered some more. I am holding back and waiting to move these new fish into the summer tubs and some rosy red minnows that I've had for a while now into the pond. I am waiting and holding off to moving them until it maintains 50 degrees Fahrenheit outside at night, which is honestly just around the corner. So make sure you are subscribed to Science Gal Aquatics and that bell notification is clicked so you are notified when the big moving day is here. But until next time, I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!